today in Roman history antiquity, a capable Praetorian prefect of the East under Eastern Roman emperors Arcadius and Theodosius II displayed competence in a world of instability. From 408 to 414, he had 40 imperial laws under his name. Since Theodosius was seven years old, his region led the empire and lived in a time of uncertainty. His name was Antemius. Find out today about Antemius' regency under Theodosius II. Antemius managed to repair relations with Honorius. He did not have Germanic advisors, which made it easier to repair relations with the Eastern Roman Empire. Antemius managed to repair relations with Honorius. He did not have Germanic advisors, which made it easier to repair relations with the Eastern Roman Empire. Antemius gave 4,000 troops to Ravenna to protect against the Visigoths under Alaric. However, they failed to protect Rome from the sack in 410. Although he wanted to help the Western Roman Emperor Honorius, he was reluctant to use full assistance. However, he improved Illyria from Alaric's attacks. Synesius of Cyrene was the Christian philosopher and bishop. He wrote to Antimius through Trollius, a sophist, Antimius' friend, and courtier. Pauline Allen and Bronin Neo wrote about numerous issues like famine and corrupt prefects. Specifically, the city of Pentapolis was the target due to Berber raids attacking from Egypt and Libya. His 73rd letter was from July or August 411. Also, he asked Antemius to have new, uncorrupt governors and abide by Libyan law. In addition, the culprit was Andronicus, the Libyan governor who used bribery on officials from their birthplace. Possibly his letters exaggerated the claim, but were clear on the charges. In his 58th letter, he called for Andronicus' excommunication for breaking a rule in a church's asylum. In 408, Flavius Monaxius was the city prefect, and Constantinople suffered a grain shortage. As a result, there were riots, and they incinerated his house. In the short term, the Senate decided to get grain from the other provinces. In 409, Antimius improved their transportation system for the grain supply to get through from Alexandria to Constantinople more effectively. In 413, the construction of the Theodosian walls ended to protect the western suburbs of Constantinople and took nine years. It had a curtain wall with towers. Also, the repairs on the Thracian defenses occurred during Antemius' regency. The purpose was to prepare against potential hunting invasions. In addition, he appointed Germanic military leaders, which continued from Theodosius I and Antemius' former superior, Arcadius. In October of 412, Patron Theophilus of Alexandria died, and his nephew, Ciro, became the successor and had his conflicts with the Jews and Prefect Orestes. In 413, Chilestius was a Pelagian and was at Ephesus to promote Pelagianism. In 414, Pelagius and Jerome were in Palestine and had a debate. Meanwhile, Chilestius was in Constantinople to gain support, but Patriarch Atticus kicked him out. Possibly in the summer of 408, the Hunnic leader Uldin planned to attack Anatolia, but the Romans bribed his tribesmen to prevent the invasion. Antemius took steps to strengthen the fleet on the Danube, especially in Moesia and Scythia. In the Theodosian Code, Book 7, the laws are mentioned in the first chapter 
about Moesia and the fur for the Skiri. The ecclesiastical historian Sosoman wrote about the hunting invasion under Odin and the Eastern Romans captured many Skiri prisoners. At the peak of the Hunnic Empire, their numbers would reach at least 60,000 to more than 150,000. The Eastern Roman Empire would have insufficient troops to deal with them head on and relied on defensive fortifications. In Theodosian Code, Book 5, Chapter 6, Section 2, came on March 23, 409, and focused on taking Germanic plunder. On April 12, 409, the law was about the capture of the main infantry scary tribe and making them farmers. They put them overseas to avoid being a menace in Frace. On January 28, 412, the master of all arms of Frace, Constance, was in charge of protecting the Danube. Also, there were 90 patrol boats and 10 old ones needed to be mended. Every year for seven years, the people constructed four patrol boats and 10 inshore ships. On Scythia, there needed to be 110 new patrol ships and 15 old ones as the starting point. Then every year, until 419, the statistics were 5 patrol boats and 15 inshore ships. According to Ilka Savane, he estimated the Eastern Roman fleet increased to around 250 in 419. The Luciori, the Eudiciari, and Agrigonensis. The Luciori were small transport ships, Eudiciari as patrol boats, and Agrigonensis as inshore ships. The purposes were reconnaissance, raiding, and transportation. In 410, the Arabs raided Libya and Egypt, but they had done so for about 20 years. Antemius responded by sending troops and brought peace there for almost 40 years. Antemius sent workers to build Durban walls and dispatched Assyrian gold miners to Sassanian controlled Armenia. Antemius took some measures against the military leaders for corruption. Unfortunately, the change in the Anonai, or grain supply, continued, specifically on taxpayers having to pay more than they should. Also, grain prices rose. Another problem was the curiosity, the inspectors on special duties. On November 9th, 412, the law addressed the stolen supplies and replaced corrupt governors with able, uncorrupt ones. Sonesius' 73rd letter condoned the selling of political positions under Antimius' leadership. By 410, Antimius was at the apex of his power. However, the downfall began with Theodosius' sister, Pokeria. She took a vow of virginity, and her power increased. Antemius wanted Pokeria to marry his son, Flavius Antemius, but she refused as a political maneuver to achieve her goal. On April 9, 414, legislation enacted on overdue payment received cancellation in the Diocese of the East for the next 40 years. On April 18th, his name was mentioned for the last time. Possibly, he might have died from natural causes. It is not what Kenneth G. Holm implied perspective of simply linking Antemius' fall with Pocurius' rise. In reality, Antemius' family thrived after his last mention. His son-in-law, Procopius Antemius, and his son, Antemius Isidorus, served in Theodosius' reign. The grandson of Praetorian Prefect Antemius, Procopius Antemius, 
became the Western Roman Emperor from 467 to 472. Socrates Scholasticus praised Antimius' capable leadership. He proved to possess adept administrative talents. However, he could not fully address all anti-corruption issues. On the other hand, he was effective in military matters and had mixed results with the Western Roman Empire.